Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to cover uh, some of the major algor AI algorithms uh, on digital pathology. Uh, my name is Amir Safarpur. Oh, I should talk to this. My name is Amir Safarpur. Uh, I'm a PhD student at uh, Kimia Lab. I'm doing my PhD under supervision of Dr. T. Sush. Uh, Essentially, we can categorize uh, the AI efforts in digital pathology into three major subcategories. First of all are uh, computer-assisted diagnosis, for example, classification, detection, and segmentation tasks uh, that are done uh, within the research labs. Also, content-based image retrieval or image search uh, which is used for diagnosis, education, and research. And at the end, we can uh, use other information, uh, metadata associated with our images, in order to uh, uh, get some uh, more intuition about the pathology images that we have, like genome information, which is provided uh, beside that uh, slide. So for the first example, I'm going to uh, present, a, just uh, discuss uh, some results from the uh, paper which was published uh, by a, a group uh, which were pro proposing a new data set, a big data set, uh, consists of 400 whole slide images, uh, which is called Chameleon 16, on uh, breast cancer uh, cases. These uh, slides are annotated by the uh, doctors, pathologists, so uh, it contains very uh, precious information. Uh, using this annotation, as you can see, uh, we have different regions. Uh, we can extract uh, metastatic uh, patches from those huge images uh, along with uh, other normal patches and then put these things through a deep neural network that calculates and evaluates the probability of being tumor or not. By training these uh, uh, deep learning models, uh, then we can be able to test our cases, getting uh, other uh, whole slide images and patch them uh, and pass them through the trained model to get the heat maps and the probabil uh, probability map of the tumor within the image. For the next example, uh, I'm going to show you a, a segmentation problem, which is a which is very important task in uh, digital pathology, and usually researchers uh, like to do these kinds of tasks. Uh, it's a nuclei segmentation and detection task. So this group uh, provided a new data set on uh, nuclei uh, segmentation. They annotated around 21,000 nuclei. Uh, and also, they proposed the uh, three-class classification uh, algorithm uh, in order to tackle this problem. So they used the deep neural network, uh, three-class classifier, and they provided uh, uh, nuclei masks uh, alongside the boundaries, because uh, boundaries are very confusing for the compute, uh, computer. They usually... Uh, confuse it with nuclei is when they, they are overlapping. So they trained this model and they tested it using the same procedure of uh, patch extraction and pre-processing, and they created uh, nuclei masks for uh, this problem. Uh, but talking about segmentation in a medical imaging field, we cannot uh, ignore one of the most successful uh, algorithms which is uh, usually used in this field, UNET. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's a deep network. They created this uh, architecture based on the intuition that if you are interested uh, getting some information, some specific information supervised from your image, you can just uh, encode your image, uh, bring it to uh, a, a space of uh, more, represented, uh, more representative uh, arrays and then reconstruct it from there. So uh, in other words, just keep the valuable information from the images 
uh, as an array and then try to find out uh, what are you looking for. Uh, let's say uh, nuclei masks. And uh, uh, as an example for this uh, architecture, there was a, a Kaggle challenge uh, last year, uh, which uh, offered a huge price on uh, nuclear segmentation, as you can see. And the team uh, followed the same intuition based on uh, creating the boundaries of uh, overlapping nuclei and creating the uh, mask of nuclei and training these models, and they achieved uh, higher accuracy. And for the content-based image retrieval or image search, uh, there is a famous paper uh, on the web. Uh, researchers from Google uh, created an algorithm for image search. They use a publicly available TCGA, TCGA data set. They chose breast, uh, pr uh, prostate, and colon, three most uh, common cancer types. And, uh, they asked some uh, pathologists to annotate some of these images in order to evaluate the result of the search. So uh, as we know, uh, image search doesn't have, in image search we don't have labels in order to train these models. We need to follow some uh, unsupervised uh, algorithms uh, to uh, capture these representations. And then for evaluation, we need to uh, use some labels provided by pathologists to uh, validate our result. So they uh, got these uh, patches, asked the pathologists to annotate with uh, 11 different histologic features. Uh, they used a model which was uh, essentially trained on 500, natural, uh, 500 million natural images, cats and dogs, and uh, they embed the uh, images into a, a feature representation. Uh, as you can see, they created a data set and uh, they asked pathologists to just uh, uh, choose certain parts of the image, uh, region of interest, and they embed the, uh, using the same approach and they find the similar, uh, top similar images. Uh, so they validated their uh, image search uh, accuracy based on the annotation that they got from the pathology, which was very expensive. And as you can see, this is a snapshot uh, shot of their algorithm. Uh, and uh, based on uh, label match for top five cases, they just achieve six, around 64%. Uh, so it shows us image search is very hard task. Uh, it's not comparable to, to the numbers that we usually hear from uh, classification models. And uh, for the next uh, application, I'm going to uh, cover uh, medical image captioning, which is a very interesting uh, field. Uh, this group uh, just uh, proposed a method uh, to train an algorithm uh, that gives us exp explainable results. Uh, the, they wanted to use uh, reports uh, alongside the images, uh, beside the uh, attention maps, which shows uh, which parts of the image are responsible for the visual features that we extracted uh, for uh, concluding this is our diagnosis. Uh, they asked five pathologists to provide uh, structured paragraphs uh, for 1,000 patches of size 500 by 500 uh, and uh, from uh, 32 patients, uh, bladder cancer cases. And they uh, modified the feature extraction uh, procedure. Uh, they added a robust, more robust uh, attention procedure and uh, also, they proposed new way of uh, analyzing the uh, uh, reports uh, or natural language processing. And uh, then they evaluated the results by uh, uh, inquiring the network based on the uh, reports that they want, and they uh, got a few images 
and they have uh, associated diagnostic labels. Uh, by comparing those labels, they validated if, if they were uh, successful training this model or not. And uh, for the last example, I think, uh, we, we are going to see an information fusion uh, problem in the field. So uh, researchers in this study uh, tried to classify uh, lung adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and normal lung tissue. They uh, used transfer learning uh, approaches using uh, pre-trained models on natural images and uh, trying to modify some of those uh, weights later on using their images. Uh, they uh, got their images from TCGA dataset uh, and they created patches out of those images, uh, retrained some parts of this uh, huge model, which is a famous model uh, in the field of computer science, and uh, they uh, reported uh, uh, good numbers like around 98-99% uh, for this three-class classification problem. The thing that you, the, uh, you can see at the end is the uh, representation of the whole slide in terms of which class, of, uh, which class each patch uh, relates to. And at the end, the new thing that they added in this uh, study is that uh, they try to associate uh, gene information uh, to digital images uh, using the information available on TCGA uh, website. Uh, they uh, trained their uh, new models, retrained models, uh, to uh, predict if any of these patches are related or have any correlation with one of these genes or not. And they reported six mutated uh, different genes are associated with these images. Thank you very much.